The mission of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, part of the warp and woof of who we are and what we do, is working with volunteers who are making a difference on our high school and college campuses. We have, if you see on our program, there are about 30, 35 different uh, high schools and colleges that we are on on a weekly basis making a difference in the lives of athletes and coaches. And uh, we want you to hear a little bit of a story for some of those athletes and coaches. And so we have featured uh, these athletes and coaches in the past from right around this area. We thought we would go way up north and ask some people to drive three hours from Ashland <laughs> to come down here and to share with you so that you know that there's activity going on way up there as well as in our backyard. So you know, I want to invite the, uh, the Ashland crew if they would come up. Uh, we, we have uh, Brian Tatine, who uh, is a wonderful uh, uh, coach there. Um, and then we have got the, a couple of different names there, I think you've seen, but uh, um, is it Maggie and Emily and, Emily and Drew? I'm sorry, I don't have my right program here, so I gotta guess. But, but Brian, I've known Brian for a few years now, and he is one of our go to guys in the ministry and a coach who is making an eternal difference in the lives of athletes and coaches. So, he was willing to get in the car right after school and they jumped in and uh, got here just in time to share with you and then had that long drive back. Bless you for doing that. I'm sure God will. And we're looking forward to hearing what you have to say about what he's doing in your life. Uh, you always know you get nervous for a speech. And I looked over at Drew and he was, Coach, I'm so nervous. I said, Drew, it's just like running down the football field and hitting that guy at first plate. It all goes away. Emily looks at me, Coach, I play soccer. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Mark Hall. Um, like I said, I've known Mark for about four years. I taught in Whitehall a year, got to know him there. We started a huddle there. Uh, and Mark is a guy, I don't think you ever sleep, Mark. Uh, he puts in so much time. Um, I've, he recruits so hard to get uh, coaches to be able to be unbelievable spiritual leaders. Um, whether they're saved or unsaved or whatever their spiritual journey may be. We brought 10 coaches down from Ashland last year to the Joe Ehrman Clinic. Um, if Joe ever comes back, uh, you're a coach or you have a kid in sport, uh, see Mark. Those are unbelievable clinics that really change the hearts of, of our coaches. So I'd really like to thank Mark. Also for uh, uh, bringing me to FCA Sports Camp, Decorah, Iowa, a few years ago. I only hope that is a very small slice of heaven. That's sports camp. It's, they are phenomenal. Emily, I went to that last year. Now, I'd also like to thank my wife. Um, any of those coaches out there, um, you definitely need a supportive wife. So I'd like to thank my wife, Brooke. And then also, also our two huddle leaders, Emily and Drew, that came down tonight. Uh, these are two youngsters that uh, I know any of you would like to be their, their son or daughter. Um, I really have uh, two stories for you tonight. And uh, my first story relates to uh, Titus. Uh, two, six through eight. Um, as my kids know, I, I say the word integrity with about every other word, and this uh, follows that. My dear brethren, set an example of good works yourself, showing integrity and dignity in your teaching. Your message should be on reproach, so the opponent will be ashamed. Uh, this is two years ago at Ashland, we do progress reports. We're seeing Coach Carter kind of follows that same philosophy. Um, we want to see our kids who are in school, in the classroom, their behavior. Uh, everything. And uh, this JV game on Monday, very last game of the season, as coaches, you know, you get busy throughout your day. I usually just when I check them, make sure they're in, there's a consequence if they're not in, low grades, etc. Second quarter of the game, we're playing along there, game's going along. Obviously, coaches, you know what that's like. You got a lot of things to worry about. Keep going, coach, I got to talk to you. Not right now, Tyson, not right now. Coach, I got to talk to you. Okay, Tyson, what's up? He goes, Coach, I shouldn't be playing. What's wrong? Your knee hurts, your elbow, what? What's wrong? He goes, Coach, I didn't turn my progress report in today. I should not be playing right now. What do I say? That was my fault. I didn't check it. I thought, you know what? That's Titus 2 6 3 right there, Tyson. Tyson is in our uh, ministry. To me, that was just phenomenal uh, to show his integrity. Uh, we definitely talked about that after the game. Tyson, to me, I, I said to him, I said, Your integrity and dignity earned you the right to play. And I'm thankful uh, for the FCA. Uh, ministry because of that and Tyson being a part of that. My next one I think is the most phenomenal story so far of uh, Ashton High School having a huddle. Um, Isaiah 55 11. So is my word that goes out from my mouth, it will not return empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose which I set. Uh, 
I coached the defensive backs at National High School in football. And at the beginning of the year, we kind of, we didn't know what was going to happen, kind of a down group. Um, and I can remember this kid, Jake Kate. I'm going to have to coach Jake that year. And the year before, Jake and I, we kind of butted heads, didn't really get along. And uh, so I'm kind of dreading, because Jake, Jake's my, my, my senior leader this year. About two weeks into the season, Jake and I are getting along phenomenally. I don't know why, but we're just getting along. And things are going well. I say, Jake, we got Fields of Faith next week. You want to go? What's that, coach? Jake's never even gone to church in his life. So Jake gets in the car, so I'll buy you pizza. I think that's really why he went. Uh, <laughs> True and a couple other young men went down to Fields of Faith in, in Hayward. That's the first time Jake's ever seen men pray together. That's the first time he's ever really heard the word. Uh, seeing that kind of music. Jake came to a couple of huddles, a couple of little events we did. And I said, Jake, a couple, a couple minutes later, how come you not show up to FCA? He goes, Coach, that's weird. <laughs> what do you mean that's weird? Anyway, Jake and I, we continued our relationship. We went out to dinner a few times. Um, I had the opportunity of witnessing Jake um, outside of school. We go to, we go to dinner. Last time he's going to leave, he's going to go to St. Cloud. And I witnessed to Jake. And uh, Jake again looks at me, Coach, that's just weird. And uh, that's all right. That's okay with me. And uh, two weeks later, Jake calls me up on the phone, and this is what he says. He said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, for that those who believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Jake was a lost soul, saved because of the FCA ministry. He goes down there, and his... His RA, the person that runs his dorm, witnesses to him, and, he's, and he is, Jake is lonely, and he is down, and he's depressed, he's away from home, and Jake gives his life to Christ. To me, that's the most phenomenal story the FCA's done at Ashland High School so far. Jake, two weeks later, calls me up and goes, Coach, I just did the most amazing thing. What's that? Well, FCA, we give our seniors, we give them uh, presents at the end of the year. I gave Jake the book on common. Jake says, my, my roommate, all he does is drink coaches. All that he does. And uh, he, all he wants me to do is go out drinking with him. And uh, what do you, so what do you do, Jake? He goes, coach, for four of them standing in the dorm room, want me to go out drinking. And I finally looked at him and said, no, nope, I'm uncommon. <laughs> Good for you, Jake. <laughs> and uh, they haven't said a word to him since. Uh, I mean, that's just Christ. You know, here comes a kid that we didn't get along all the way to he can't stop talking about what Christ is doing in his life. Uh, again, I can't thank my wife, Mark Hall, huddle leaders, what the Lord is doing in our lives up at Ashland High School. And uh, thank you for this opportunity. Here's Emily Meyer.